Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do a little bit of a what's in my bag slash bag review situation because this is what my bag currently looks like. I can barely even lift it up. It is very heavy, very stuffed because I have not organized it or sorted it out in a, I think like about two weeks now. I've just been accumulating stuff in here. So I really need to go through this and sort it out. And I thought would it would be perfect time to like unpack my whole bag, show you everything that's in it, and do a little review of this bag that I've been using. This is a Nike bag. I got it off the Nike.com store. Um, when you go on the Nike.com store, it's actually quite nice because uh, even though it's like an international store, you can see all the prices in rands and then customs and stuff is already like included in the price that you're seeing. Because whenever you're shopping in South Africa, you know that that like shipping and customs fee is gonna hit you. So I was very, very pleased with the fact that we were able to order it from the Nike online, um, the international store and then get it delivered to South Africa. There were like no issues with delivery, it came pretty quick, quickly and yeah, the price on the website was what we paid, no extra customs. So I really, really liked that. This is the tote bag that um, is on the website. I'll get the exact like make and model or whatever it is and put it up on screen, but it's a tote bag. I've been looking for one for the longest time and I specifically got this before I went overseas uh, to go to Worlds in Poland and I used this for that trip, which was in October, towards the end of October. And then I've been using it every day basically since then it's become my main bag that I've been using and I'm really enjoying it. I take it to work, I take it to gym, I take it to the studio, I take it everywhere pretty much with me. So let's get into it. We're gonna go through everything that I've got in this bag. So I don't know which pocket that I'm gonna start with. Okay, let's start with the main pocket. So the main compartment, as you can see here, you can get quite a lot in it. So at the moment it's not very organized. I've just been shoving stuff in there, but we'll kind of reorganize it as we put things back. So first up is my headphones. I say my headphones, these are actually Cody's headphones. They are the Sony WX what what I don't know where the actual what the actual specific one is. They are Sony headphones. Yeah, it doesn't say on them. Oh no it does say on them WH 1000 XM 4s I don't know if you can see that at all. So these are Sony headphones. I love these and I've stolen them from Cody because they are super noise cancelling. So you put these on and you cannot hear anything. Um, I, they also don't have any uh, sound leak, which is great. So you can put the volume up really high. No one else is going to hear what you're listening to. And then I just travel with them in the little case, keep them in the little case. Otherwise, Cody would kill me if these got damaged. So that is the first thing in there. I also have a hairbrush. Um, I recently dyed my hair, got highlights, went a little bit blonder. We're in the process, in the journey of going blonde. And I find that my, because the hair is now bleached, it gets knotted a lot more quickly. So I like just having this. It's just like a bamboo hairbrush, cute little small one in my bag so that if my hair does start to get knotty, um, I can just brush it out quickly, especially if I am going to the studio or going for training um, and I've been wearing my hair down, I like to brush it to put it back up into a ponytail for training or you know any sort of situation very convenient to have a brush in my bag next this is not usually in my bag but this is a um like electric hot water bottle i also have the charger for it in one of the pockets here somewhere i think this is it yes this is the charger for it so this is not usually in my bag but i have had it in my bag this week and i've been taking it um, to work and to the studio and everywhere with me this week because I got a little bit of a spasm in my back and whenever that happens I find that applying heat really really helps that to kind of recover as quickly as possible so I've been carrying this around with me I'm gonna take it out of the bag now it's not gonna go back in because my back is doing a lot better now so that's not going back in this has been adding to a lot of the like bulk and heaviness in the bag but um, it's great that I can fit things like this in the bag when I need to. Next up, we have two spare shirts. So this is a long sleeve shirt. This was in my bag because I have been training flying pole this week and um, the flying pole is silicone and it can pinch. I've actually got like some marks on my arm at the moment from training flying pole without a long sleeve on. So this is just a long sleeve crop from Gymshark. And like, for example, today I would have put it in over this top 
just to protect my skin a little bit for flying pole and then this is just a spare shirt that i had a t-shirt for if i didn't want to wear my training top anymore I had this in my bag in case i needed to change so those can both go out of the bag for now then i have oh, more on the clothing items i've got a pair of pole shorts so this also was just something that got thrown into my bag at the beginning of the week and in case i needed to do some pole and put my pole shorts on i've got my pole shorts in my bag that's also going out i think those need to be washed as well next up i have this little pouch and this is like my pouch of essential items so i will open it up for you we have Firstly, a toner water. So especially if I've been training, I will just spray a little bit of this on my face just to kind of like refresh things a little bit. I've got some deodorant, which always comes in handy. I've got a whole lot of panty liners in here because you never know when you're going to need some. I've got a small little thing of camphor cream. I've got some Dettol hand sanitizer in here. I've got a cream cleanser, face cleanser. This should probably go up. Like I actually don't think I would really be using that out and about. I've also got some, let's just come off of this, but this is some Eucerin Aquaphor. I think I got this as like a free trial, like a tester, and I just keep it in here for emergencies. I've also got the Hyaluron Filler Elasticity 3D um, Serum from Eucerin, and I also have got that as a tester and keep it in there. I've got a nail file for in case I need to file my nails. I've got some spare pairs of contacts in case I find myself out without my contacts. You'll be surprised about how often that actually happens that I end up like out and about just without my contacts because I forgot to put them in in the morning. So it's always good to have an extra pair. I've actually got an extra two pairs in there. And then I've just got some face wipes. So pretty much all of this will stay in here. I think actually all of it will stay in here. I like having it in a little pouch because then everything is like nicely contained into one thing and I don't have to worry about it like floating around the bottom of my bag, bottom of my bag or getting lost. I wish this hairbrush fits in here. That's the one thing that I'm like, it's just like a tiny bit too big to fit. Maybe if I like rearrange some things. If I put it like that, I can zip it up with just the end poking out and that will go back into my bag. Next, I've got this claw clip. This I actually usually clip onto the side like handle of the bag. So I will clip it around here and then it's always accessible for if I need it. Uh, next up, we have my pencil case. So this was just a pencil case from Typo and I've got a whole bunch of fine liners mostly in here. I actually need to reorganize this because I don't need so many. It's like a huge amount of fine liners that is completely unnecessary. And then a pencil. I think I need to actually put some ballpoint pens in here because I'm far more likely to need ballpoint pens than fine liners. But that is my pencil case. Then next up in the main compartment of the bag is this deodorant. This is just a Dove 48 hour moisturizing deodorant. I also like want this to fit in here, but I don't know if it's going to fit. There we go, all in that pouch. Then next, what I have in here is this bag, which this is a bag that I use um, when I don't want to take my full big bag out. And I keep all of my like essential essentials in here. So in here, I've got my cards and my driver's license and my ID, and that's just in a little pocket over here and I've got a couple of hairbands and like small elastics. So I've got like a small clear elastics and then one of these normal hairbands. I also have a receipt for, what is this even? For street bar, when I went out to street bar that I can throw away. And then I have a whole bunch of um, lip products. So I've got this lip gloss, I've got this lip gloss and I've got a soft lips. And then I've got a hand cream. I always need to have a hand cream on me at all times. So I make sure that I have one in this small um, bag. And then it's nice because there's enough space to fit my phone. And then it has this back pocket over here. Let me check if there's anything, just some receipts that can be thrown away. So this is a receipt for Kauai 
because I got a smoothie the other day. So that can get thrown away. And then I always just keep this bag, I kind of fold up the straps and keep it in my bigger bag so that if I'm out and I need to swap from big bag to small bag, like I want to leave the big bag in my car, I can swap to the small bag very easily. Or if I'm going out, I can just grab the small bag out of the big bag and leave the house and not have to repack anything into here. But then all my essentials are in my big bag because I've got my small bag with me. So this bag is super, super handy. I love it because within here, it's got compartments as well. I don't know if you can see, but it's got different sections that I can keep my cards, my hair stuff, my lips and uh, lip products and hand cream all separate and then there's space for anything extra that I might need to put in there from my other bag. So that is very, very convenient. Goes into the main compartment of this bag. Then my laptop. So one of the things about this bag that I'm not the hugest fan of is that there is no actual laptop compartment. So it does have compartments within it. Um, it's got like a big pocket on the side and then smaller pockets and then a zip pocket and it's got a water bottle compartment, but none of them are padded and the pocket on the side is not like big enough to be a laptop compartment, but I use this as my work bag. So I take my laptop with me in this bag anyway. I haven't really had any issues though because I'm not very like violent with my bag. I'm not like throwing it around and stuff. But if I was like traveling, if I was going like on a trip or anything, I probably wouldn't take my laptop with in this bag. I would probably get like a sleeve for it. I probably should get a sleeve for my laptop. Um, as you can see, I've dropped it a couple of times and it is a little bit dented already. So I'm not too precious about it, but that's the one thing that this bag is like kind of missing. I think because it's designed to be more of an athletic or sports bag rather than like a work bag, I just use it as both. But anyway, my laptop, very important in there. And then on my laptop, in the kind of bigger compartment in the side of the bag, I have all my like various cables and chargers and tech things. So this is my little technology pouch, which I did not pack back into my bag properly last time. And so there is nothing in it at the moment, but usually what I do is I keep this power bank. I slot it in this like section with the Velcro here. And this is a very, very nice power bank. I also got it just before I went overseas last year and it charges things super, super quickly. So I keep my phone, Apple cable in here with it so that if I ever do need to charge my phone, I've got the power bank and then I can also, if my laptop is plugged in, charge it off my laptop. And then I put this cable into one of the little mesh pockets there and then I've also got this like mini power bank I got it at we went to the Hey Neighbor Festival and they had a magnum stand there and then they were giving out these power banks um I'm not actually sure how good this is I don't think it's even charged at the moment so I'm actually going to take it out of my bag now it's nice as a small one because like if I needed to swap to this small bag I could still put this power bank in there but I think I'm going to take it out the bag for now because I'm not even sure if it's charged or working um, so that's in there. Then I also have a little adapter for my Mac. So this I can plug into my Mac and then I've got my HDMI cable, which is what I use this most for. And this should also be in here with the power bank. Then that's my little technology pouch. I would love it if my laptop charger also fits in there, but I don't think it will. This is like my technology situation that I put into my side pocket of my bag. The other thing that will usually go into the side pocket of my bag is the tripod that my phone is currently on. So I'll have my tripod, my laptop charger, and my little like technology pouch in there. Then one of the main reasons I got this bag is because it has a like, built-in water bottle holder. So this is my water bottle. I take this with me everywhere. Um, it is from cotton on a while ago. I'm not sure how many milliliters it is. I think it's 750 if I'm not mistaken. It's got a flippy up straw. Um, the one annoying thing about it is that the straw does fall off or like fall out of it quite often. So the straw is detachable and you can take it out like that. And often it's not like snug enough in there and then it does fall out, which is annoying because you have to put it back in. But Overall, it's fine. This keeps my drinks super, super cool. It's very, very well insulated. And um, I love it because it fits perfectly into that water bottle compartment. So I take this absolutely everywhere 
with me. And then in the bottom of my bag, I just have another receipt from Woolworths and another Woolworths receipt. I think this is the same shop, just the two receipts from it. And that is it for that. Next, I'm gonna go through the little baby small zip pocket, which at the moment has my glasses in it. Um, I usually don't take these out and about with me because usually I am wearing contacts, but um, I went out this week without my contacts and then I have my glasses in there. I also have in here this, which is like a little uh, essential healing balm situation. This actually does not need to be in my bag. I haven't even opened it out of the box yet, but it looks like this. I got this as a gift from someone, like as a little good luck charm before Worlds. So I actually will probably put this into my little pink pouch because there's still space for a tiny little thing in there. So that's going in there. Then I also have a hand cream, a bigger hand cream. So this one is moisturizing and hygiene two in one hand cream. And I like having this out and not in the pink pouch because I use this very, very often. I'm always putting on hand cream. I've got a receipt from the petrol station and my petrol card, which also should be, it's got like this, this is a new one and it's still got that like stickiness on it, which is very annoying. Um, and this should be with the rest of my cards in this small bag. So I'll move that there. That's my discovery like points card. I've also got my credit card in here. So that also will move to there. This is often what happens is like, I obviously, Put petrol in and then instead of putting my stuff back into here like i should have i just put it into that little zip pocket so that's why i have to read when i have my bag what else do i have in here i've got a key random key um i've got hair bands two hair bands these should also probably go into somewhere somewhere else let me put one in the pink pouch and then i've got one in the small bag I can keep one in this zip pouch when I put it back. I've got another receipt for Yamakado. We got sushi. And then I've got a lipstick, which I really don't need in there because I hardly ever put on lipstick. And I've got some Norflex because I do be getting headaches. So I think I'm gonna put the lipstick and the Norflex into this bag for organization purposes. And that was the last thing from this little pouch. So we are all cleared out of that. The one thing that I, about this bag that I also don't really like, and so this little pouch in here, if you put anything too heavy on it, it weighs down this side of the bag. And then if the bag is not zipped up, this part, this like front part here, will fold in and collapse inwards like that, which is quite annoying. So I'm gonna try and not pack this with anything too heavy. But like, as soon as I put my hand cream, that's actually a, a perfect example. So here it is, like normal. And then I put my hand cream in there and immediately it just flops down. So that's one annoying thing. I might move my hand cream to one of these like side compartments and put the hand cream there so that it's not weighing this down and put like lighter, smaller things. I've got another, oh, missed that tiny elastic there. So, yeah, that's one thing I do find annoying. It does help if you zip it up, but I hardly ever have this zipped. Then, last um, compartment is this front pocket over here, the zip pocket. This is one of my most used compartments on this bag. I've got my house keys. I've got my car keys. I've got two different lip ices. I probably don't need both of them there. I've got another hairband. What's the hairband counter like now at the moment? And then I've got some cash. So I have 10 Rand and coins do I have? I've got two, four, six, eight, 20. So I've got 18 Rand and 20 cents. So that is now my bag completely empty. This is what it looks like completely empty. It does have another pocket on the back, but I don't think I have anything in this back pocket at the moment. So now I'm going to repack her. So the things that we are not putting back in the bag 
is this whole pile of stuff that included my changes of clothes, my hot water bottle and my mini power bank. And I'm also not putting back any of this rubbish, which is just like receipts mostly. So that is all not going back in the bag. Everything else will go back in the bag. That is it for everything that is in my bag. Much more organized now. It is still pretty heavy because I've got a full water bottle and a laptop in there. But that is everything. I'm gonna zip it up for now. So that it is all ready to go for Monday morning. Um, but yeah, so I've been loving this bag. It's been getting some very good um, use. Like they, I mentioned, they are those few things that do kind of annoy me about it, like the thing with the thing falling down and the lack of a padded sleeve for my laptop. But overall, it's a really, really good bag. I love how many pockets and compartments it has in it. And I really also love that I can put a whole bunch of extra shits in here if I need to without having to worry. The stitching on this bag is holding up very, very well for the amount that I abuse it. I pack this way too full, way too often, and the stitching is still absolutely perfect absolutely no issues on it so yeah that's my bag very happy with it anyway thank you so much for watching this video you made it all the way to the end um if you enjoyed it please do like the video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well and let me know if you think there's anything that i'm missing from my bag anything essential that i should have in here that i don't at the moment thanks so much for watching bye